How long does it take to write a book? Six to 12 months. Some people even said 120 hours is how long it takes to accomplish it. Some even say as short as three to seven months. What about writing a book in 24 hours? Is it even possible? Is this something that is really feasible? And what I'm looking to do is create a book that's 20 to 30,000 words long. That's a bit shorter than an epic length novel, but it's certainly a book anyways. And if I'm able to do this, what I'm gonna promise you is, if you stick around to the very end of this video, I'll give you free access to it. But it's gonna be for a limited time. So, let's see if we can do this. It's just a little bit after 6.15 in the morning here on a Saturday, getting ready to get showered up, eat some breakfast, and probably get ready for this 24-hour marathon. Uh, Kelly's very uh, positive. She's very optimistic, thinks I can be able to crank this out in under that amount of time, and I'm certainly hoping that will be the case as well. So we will see a 30,000-word book. Um, Normally it would probably take about a month to put together for me. Uh, we're going to probably try to see if we can do it in less than a day. So, all right, 6.15 a.m. Um, hopefully I won't have to be up at this time again tomorrow. So, Getting down to about zero hour. I'm stuffing my face full of some oatmeal. It'll be my first meal of the day. Thankfully yesterday, I uh, took a little bit of time, I packaged up uh, five different meals, um, I even uh, baked a cake, and uh, I've got some watermelon chopped up, have some bananas on call, so that way I can just be able to fire off. So it's only about 7.27 right now, so I've only been up a little over an hour, and uh, I had to get the whole live stream set up, put up uh, both the timers for the 24-hour timer, as well as the Pomodoro timer. I'm gonna flip it around here, you can actually see I got the mic all set up, I have both my monitors set up. Yeah, that's right. Not only am I having to sweat putting together a stinking book, I'm trying to do this live at the very same time. Because I figured, you know, we might as well go ahead and chronicle uh, the process and have people join me for the ride. So, well, uh, I can't think the next time I'll be checking in with you, it'll be on the monitor. So, see you then. Okay, 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 it looks like it's time for us to get right into things. So if you haven't been to this channel before, I am Dale L. Roberts, best-selling author as well as self-publishing advocate, and I normally say, hey, I wanna show you how to publish books and sell, but today we're gonna be writing a book. Uh, this is a book that I've tried writing twice already, and I just scrapped it, went through a full rewrite again. So let's go ahead and get this party started. I am just finished up the first uh, series here of the Pomodoro method and I got about 3,500 words. Um, not too bad, actually 500 of that's outlined, so it's about 3,000. So, uh, you know, not terrible, actually, it might have been just a little bit more. Let me, let me double check that. Excuse me, so uh, actually I did 4,300 uh, words so far, 4,352. So that means I've done about 3,800 words altogether with the goal of doing about 20,000 to 30,000 words on this book, definitely on a roll, but I'm getting ready to go ahead and grab some grub and uh, we're gonna keep this party rolling. So fast forward, baby. I just finished up the Pomodoro method around number two. So that means I'm four hours deep into this project, grabbing some cake, getting ready to jump back into things. Still kind of full for my, my last stint, but I figure if I can kind of eat some food, it'll keep me awake and alert and keep it on going. Obviously, I'm not relying on anything on caffeine. This is all on willpower. Starting to feel a little fatigue physically, um, but it's good to kind of stand up and stretch about.
This has been fun. I'm starting to feel the physical fatigue kicking in mental mentally I haven't checked out just yet I feel still very creative so I'm able to kind of go through this but looking through my outline I believe I've probably got about another 15,000 words minimum that's just kind of a guess looking over things it could be more it could be less I'm gonna grab some grub get freshened up and jump right back into things I'll see you after the very next Pomodoro session Okay, so I just finished up the fourth round of the Pomodoro method. It is pretty freaking crazy. I am just a little north of 15,000 words. Feeling pretty good. I know I'm feeling a little bit beat as far as like talking goes because just in between these rounds, I've been jib jabbing and I'm not used to streaming this much. So getting a little bit of that fatigue. Uh, the good news is um, I'm probably going to finish up the book somewhere just a little bit north of say like 20,000 words. And I'm not disappointed. It's not like I wanted to try to stuff this thing full till it was 20 or uh, 30,000 words. It just was kind of a ballpark range and now I'm starting to see, okay, not too bad. Alrighty, well, I will see you when I wrap up things on the very last session. Well, that is about it. So I just finished up the fifth uh, Pomodoro method session and I finished up at about south of 20,000 words. Now, um, I, I, the OCD portion of me is probably kind of going, ah, that I should have been 20 to 30,000, but I know that once I go through edits, I'm probably gonna have a couple of rewrites here and there. And of course the preface is gonna be added in after I get the first round of edits done so I can kind of get a better idea of the direction of this three-part series that I'm going to be doing. So wow, uh, 24 hours I said, can it be done? And the answer is yes, yes, I, I did do it. Now is it an epic novel? No, not by any stretch, but I knew that at 20 to 30,000 words it wasn't going to be. I've spent probably about nearly 11 hours streaming online and doing this whole process. And I did it so that way I could have everybody hold me accountable. So that means that over the next month or two, they're actually going to get a chance to get their hands on this specific book. So I decided to take on this challenge for writing a book in 24 hours. And it wasn't necessarily to flex how great I am at writing. Um, it's more so to kind of show to you that regardless of your circumstances if you have the right mindset going into a task like writing a book that you can really accomplish a lot and a lot faster than say waiting on another six to twelve months to actually get your manuscript done and you know maybe you're working on some type of an 80,000 word or 100,000 word book and 24 hours it's probably not going to be feasible for you to do something like that but what I would implore on you is to just take massive action. That's going to be the most important thing for you as an author. If you want to get any kind of traction in this business, the most important thing you got to do is just get started. Okay, so now the book is thoroughly edited, proofread, formatted, and I even documented the process of getting the cover design done by five different designers over on Fiverr in a recent video. Now you can get your hands on the first part of three in the Amazon self-publisher series with Amazon keywords for books. For a limited time, you can actually join the Advanced Reader Copy Team when you visit dalelinks.com slash arcteam. And if you don't want to do that, you can always wait till about September the 15th when it will be released to the public at dalelinks.com slash keywords book. All of these links are going to be down in the description down below. And hey, by the way, I was talking about the book cover design and how we did that. It's over in this very next video here. You will be amazed at some of the covers. And though you will find out the where, but the cover is that I end up getting, uh, it's kind of cool to see a behind the scenes and how that all worked out and the other four designs. So I'll see you there.